Glenn, you were a member of the Seven Creek Commentary team. Congratulations and welcome aboard. Yeah, thank you. Looking forward to it. It's uh, it's going to be a, a bit of a change this summer, but you know, start of a new era and something I'm really looking forward to. And you say a new era. It's it's sort of a new thing for you as well. You you dipped your toe in a fair bit of commentary, but this is a, a step forward again for you. Well, it is. I've done more sort of radio commentary, a little bit on TV, but not a great deal. So to be part of the uh, the Channel Seven commentary team, you know, from first test onwards is uh, yeah. So it's a, a new. Uh, guess a new era for me but something I'm really looking forward to. And you get to reunite with a few teammates that you had so much success on the field with that must be pretty special. Yeah that's something the traveling the circuit is always good you know everyone's so busy and we don't get to catch up as often as we'd like but coming along to the tests uh, you know here at the SCG and the other places get to catch up with old teammates and the fact that Ricky Ponting, Michael Slater and fellow fast bowler Damien Fleming is uh, on the commentary team as well um, yeah it's going to be brilliant. So there's a nice balance between batters and, and bowlers that must please you? Yeah, finally. You know, I think commentary in the past has always been very batsman dominated, so it's good to get a few fast bowlers in. I've always said we need a bit more intelligence on the commentary team, and they've got the balance right, I think, at the moment. And uh, four test series against India is, is our first assignment. That'll be your, your debut in the seven commentary box. What do you see in that series? Yeah, I think it's going to be a tough series. Uh, India are a quality team, there's no doubt about that. They've got a good bowling attack, quality batting line-up. Um, and with the, if Australia's without uh, their two big guns in uh, Steve Smith and, and Dave Warner, it's going to be a lot more difficult uh, for the boys over here. But, yeah, hopefully uh, the Australians can really step up. Uh, there's been a little bit of change in the T20s, a change of form. Uh, hopefully that's a, you know, a bit of a, a mark for what's coming and, and the boys can play well so it's uh, India always find a little bit difficult on quicker bouncier tracks and hopefully that's in our favour. You uh, another one of your, your ex-teammates Justin Langer it was a bit of a tough initiation for him with those weekend one day teams mm. in, in England but uh, you, you think uh, it was the right appointment and, and he'll do the job long term? Oh without a doubt uh, I think it's just what the team needed someone like Justin Langer coming in you know JL is uh, two things that really stand out is, is discipline and respect and I think that's two things that will you know, really help the team at the moment um, and yeah you know, it's a, a tough uh, initiation I think uh, you know, it's start at the bottom but uh, plenty of way to, uh, to move to the top so yeah no, I, uh, I have total faith, faith in uh, Justin.